good morning it's monday and it's the 29th of june um i'm logged on to work not feeling 100 percent this morning if i'm honest i went downhill rapidly yesterday not sure if it's hay fever or a cold but i'm dosed up with hay fever tablets but just feel generally pretty grotty and rough um i'm still going to try and work out later but i'm going to do it this evening i'm not going to do it this morning um it's been quite a busy weekend um at the end of yesterday's what i ate in a day um again i went downhill rapidly and just ended up eating a lot of chocolate and junk and i was supposed to be doing my five perfect days so i'm a bit annoyed with myself but sometimes life just gets the better of you i just felt really sorry for myself because i wasn't feeling very well and i gave in to some of the treats we've got so yeah i feel bad but on it again today as best i can i still haven't been for my proper food shop this week which probably doesn't help um obviously my dinner and everything was on plan yesterday it's just all the tre treats i had last night that weren't um so yes um try and be as upbeat as cheery as i can even though i feel grotty and hoping that the hay fever tablets and painkillers and stuff kick in and i shall be right as rain anyway i've got my cup of coffee here as per usual i'm logged on to work is on morning coffee mm. delicious um and i shall show you i'm not gonna have anything to eat just yet um but I will, i'll show you when i do um hope you're all having a lovely start to your week and good luck for a successful week and obviously weigh-ins will be coming up so good luck with those two and i shall see you later when i have something to eat bye for now here is my breakfast today um, as I'm not feeling 100%, Eddie's made it for me, which is why he, it's displayed like this. I think he's obviously trying to be fancy. Um, so yeah, it's scrambled egg, which is all for speed, and uh, it's all free, with tomatoes around for speed. You can also tell the lack of food we've got in now. Um, I had decided not to have any toast because I think I might want to have a sandwich for lunch, or if I have, if I make some soup, I might want some bread with it. So. I've decided just to have this and then I've got a cup of tea using a bit of milk for my healthy extra A and I've got two apples for extra speed. So that's my breakfast this morning and I shall catch you later. Bye. Hiya. Um, that breakfast didn't even touch the sides with that little bit of egg with a little bit of tomato. So I've chopped up the two apples and I've got some frozen berries and I've got a muller light for half a sin because I don't want to risk being starving hungry till lunchtime and then snacking on stuff that I shouldn't be having. So I'm trying to mitigate it by eating this. Um, a lot of this is speed. There are some grapes in there that aren't speed, but a lot of the berries are. And obviously the apple's speed and half in. And it's still the same cup of tea because I've just literally just finished eating that bit of scrambled egg. So I shall catch you later next time I have something. Hi, and here is my lunch. I've got a ham salad one second i'm gonna sneeze sorry about that <laughs> um i've got lettuce cucumber and tomato um i've actually just been across to the green grocers um because obviously we were out so it's nice and fresh on there i've got less than half a tablespoon of the morrison's countered caesar salad dressing and that's half a sin for a tablespoon so i'll count half a sin for that um, I've got some ham from our local deli. There is a little bit of fat on it, but I'll no doubt give that to Luna. I've also got a jacket potato, but it's a sweet potato. And on top of that, rather than having any butter or anything, I've got half a laughing cow cheese spread and half a tablespoon of salsa. So I'll count half a sin for the salsa. So it's one sin for the dressing and the salsa. The laughing cow extra light is coming out of my healthy extra A. That's all speed that's free and that's free and with it i've actually bought a bread roll for myself from our local bakery this is 48 grams in weight so i'm counting that as my health extra b and i have spread it with the other half of the laughing cow triangle rather than having butter so this is one sin for all of this I'm really looking forward to it um it's just so nice having something that looks colorful to me and looks more interesting so yeah can't wait to have that and i shall catch you later next time i have something Good evening and here is my evening meal. I've got pork chops that I've cooked with onion in one of the sachets of Somerset pork and that is six cents for the whole sachet and this has served five people. So I shall count 
one sin for that. I've got a Yorkshire pudding. This is one of the ones that are one and a half sins, so that's two and a half sins altogether. Potatoes are free, carrots are speed, green beans are speed, broccoli speed, and there's a little bit of sweet corn that's free. Oh, and there's some roast potatoes and parsnips that are free that have been done in the actual fry. So this is a two and a half sin dinner, and I shall catch you later if I have any snacks. Here's my snack plate tonight. I've got some cherries that are free. Each curly wellage, I think, is three sims. Uh, Aldi version of a biscoff biscuit, which I think is two, and a treat size crunchy for four. And that is me done for the day. And I shall see you again tomorrow for the next one. Bye. Good morning. It is Tuesday, and it's the 30th of June, last day of June. Um, it's currently. 6.30, I'm all up and ready to start my day. Um, I'm going to log on to work in a moment, um, but I'm going to be vlogging off very briefly about 5 to 7, just to take Eddie's car to the garage. So it's only about 10 minutes away from home. So we're both going with both cars and then I'll drive us back. So I won't miss too much time. It's another busy day from a work point of view because it's a quarter end for us. So. I've got to get all the grant payments and stuff made for the end of the quarter. So yeah, it's going to be a busy one. Um, I'm pretty tired. I was working till about 25 past 10 last night. So I did have a break because I, I did my workout and stuff. But I logged back on and it was quite a late night. So um, so yeah, I'm a bit tired today. It's buggy eyes. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm not going to have anything to eat yet. I probably won't eat till... Maybe nine-ish, I'm not sure yet. I might have something earlier. I don't know, we'll see. But anyway, when I have something, I'll show you what I'm having. Bye for now. Hi, and here's my breakfast. It's actually more of a brunch. It's about 10 to 11 now. I've got two of the red onion and rosemary sausages, the Linda McCartney ones that are free. I've got beans that are free, tomatoes for speed, and an egg that's free. So probably not a third speed there, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure I'll catch you later next time I have something. Here is today's lunch. I've got beetroot for speed, lettuce, tomato and cucumber for speed. I've got an egg that's free, ham that's free, and then I've got some of the Indian couscous that I think is half a sin for a portion. I've only got a couple of spoons of it, so I'll probably count it as half a sin. Um, I have sprayed a couple of sprays of the balsamic raspberry dressing on there, but I've at least put a couple of sprays on there, which will be about four calories, so I'm not going to bother counting anything for that. Um, and I've got yoghurt for half a sin and some raspberries for speed. So I think this is one sin in total. So half a sin for the couscous and half a sin for the mother light. And I shall catch you later next time I have something. Good evening. It's, what time is it? Um, five past eight at night. Um, it's turned into one of those days today. Really, really stressful day. Um, I knew work was going to be stressful because it's quarter end and I think I already said that earlier in the video that it was going to be a busy one. I was logged on for like half six, twenty to seven this morning because I had loads of grants to pay. Um, Eddie's car was booked in to have his wing mirror fixed at the garage and we had to drop the car off at seven. It was only five minutes away so it didn't take very long to drop it off and then come straight back in my car. Um, luckily, the uh, mechanic managed to um, take the wing mirror off, put screws through it to try and fix it and put it back on so we haven't had, had to have a new one. Sorry about that. Um, someone came through, so I decided to pause it. Um, so yeah, so then um, we basically switched. So we went to pick Eddie's car up, brought his car back, but left mine because mine actually had an advisory on the MOT last October, November for to have a, the brakes checked in four months time. Obviously four months coincided with the start of lockdown. So I haven't really driven the car to be honest since so I wasn't too worried about it but now things are starting to open back up and we're starting to use the car more and especially because um, after Eddie's car had the wing mirror ripped off and wasn't legal to drive we had to drive my car so I wanted to get my brakes sorted out so um, luckily he did both he did them both quite quickly went to pick my car up at lunchtime so originally I was supposed to work out at lunchtime but I had to cancel it because I was at the garage picking my car up came back and we we moved the workout to six o'clock that should have been fine um all my payments had to be made at the very latest by half six so i thought well, i finished it easily before then 
I'd already said to Ewan that we'd nip out to Sports Direct after I finish work at like half three, four-ish because um, I need to order him some new trainers. His feet are coming out of his and they're all battered. So I need to get him some more trainers. But I don't know what size to order him. Ewan's a big lad. He's 15 and he's about six foot three or something, but he's got a size 13 or 14 feet. So um, I wanted to double check. Anyway, he tries some size 13s on his Sports Direct and sure enough, his toes are right at the top. So I need to order him some 14s. So I need to do an online order for them because you, not many shops stock them. So we were just on our way back from Sports Direct. That was a very quick visit. I knew I'd got two grants that were coming in that needed pain. They weren't in when I left. So that's why I went out when I did. And just when I was on my way back, Tom rang me. He'd finished his shift at McDonald's and his car wouldn't start. So I'd snipped to Halfords to go and get some jump leads because last time we borrowed them from his girlfriend and his girlfriend was at work. So she, he couldn't do that. And I didn't want to drive all the way over to my sister or my mum and dad to borrow them. So I nipped to Halfords and had to queue for quite some time to buy some jump leads. I didn't realise actually that Halfords aren't letting people in. So there's just someone standing in the doorway with a desk with a plexiglass thing on it. And you go up and you're either collecting orders that you've ordered online or you have to request it and then they go in the shop and buy and pick the stuff up for you. So I got some jump leads, went round to Tom, realised that his car was in the car park facing the other way. So we had to manage to manoeuvre it and push it. Me and Ewan pushed it whilst he was inside the car to get to a position where we'd actually be able to jump start it and then realised that we needed a tool because he's got a black box fitted. And obviously you can't jump start it with that on, otherwise it would fry it. So I then had to come home to pick a tool up to then go back to jump start his car. So what we did was we came home, you went in the garage to try and find the tools while I quickly logged on and paid the final two payments I had to make because I'd got a deadline of half, half six and I wasn't sure how long it was going to take me to sort Tom's car out. I then drove back to McDonald's, got his car jump started and then realised that actually I was supposed to be working out at six and it was now five to six when we just finished doing it we were just checking it was all okay and I was putting my battery cover back on so I contacted my t to my sister and luckily she waited for me so I literally drove home went upstairs got changed got my kit on and then I've done my 55 minute workout which was a booty workout today so my butt is now killing me anyway this is really long and rambly so you probably don't need to know all this information but I just thought I'd fool you in as to what kind of day I've had um so yeah, so I did that, did my workout. Tom now wants to do his workout, so dinner's been delayed slightly. Um, whilst I was at Halfers queuing, I sent Ewan round to Iceland to get some chicken breast. So he's got some frozen chicken breasts that are currently in the Instant Pot cooking. And um, the kids have got some goujons that, that I'm cooking for them. And I'm just going to do Mayflower curry and probably pasta because I would like to do egg fried rice, but to be honest with you, I'm just shattered. So I'm just going to do pasta for easiness. So we're going to have pasta, chicken and Mayflower curry. Um... So I've got the chicken on and my son's now working out so I can't go in there to finish dinner. So I've actually been a little bit naughty and I thought I'd fess up on here. Um, I've just had two of the Aldi fake Biscoff biscuits and I think they're two sins each. So that's four sins. And I have actually brought this up as well, although I haven't had it, which would be four sins. Now I haven't, I don't think I've had any sins today. So I'm not worried about being over sins. It's fine. But I'm eating, like, I'm doing what I do best, which is I'm tired and stressed, so I'm turning to food, which I'm really trying to not do. So I haven't eaten the crunchy yet. I don't know if, if I put on my video or not. I probably will put it on when I edit it. But last night I said I was having a Biscoff biscuit, a curly whirly, and a little um, treat crunchy, treat size crunchy, and some cherries. Well, whilst I recorded my clip, my husband made some remark about what I was eating and made me feel really bad and really guilty about it. So I didn't end up eating it. So Luna had the Biscoff biscuit, the fake Aldi Biscoff biscuit. Um, I left the crunchy and just had the curly whirly and the cherries. So actually, I wasn't that high on sins in the end yesterday. I thought I was a lot higher than I was. Worst thing was, he was sitting scoffing chocolate biscuits, which actually were quite high in calories and sins. And what I had, I'd, I'd counted for, so it wasn't like I was secretly scoffing and not and not recording it. I'd, I've got every intention of vlogging it. Um, so actually what I've just done now is worse, because I've just scoffed and inhaled two Biscoff biscuits without thinking about it, because I needed something to eat and to keep me going. Um, I've actually got a healthy extra bee left, so I'd have been better off making myself a cob, but or a bread roll, if you're not from around these parts. Um, 
but I kind of think I might want that to go with my chicken and my curry just to mop it all up so um, I've kept it back but so yeah I feel guilty that I've had it but I'm still I'm still on track I'm still on plan and I'm still in control I've had those two biscuits I'm going to try and not have the crunchy I've got it here just as a backup in case I feel like I need it but either way I've got enough sins to cover me um, so yeah anyway I shall go now I've been talking for about six minutes and I do apologize this video is going to be really long already so I'm sure you'll skip through this bit and not listen to me rambling on um, but I'll show you when I dish dinner out later bye for now here is my evening meal I've got pasta which is free I've got a lot of broccoli which is speed I've got some onions that speed and I've got some mixed veg so some of it's speed some of it's free excuse me Oh, sorry, I'm still sneezing away like a good one. Um, so there's onions for speed and there's some mixed veg that's got carrots for speed, green beans for speed, peas that are free. Um, I've got a chicken breast that's just been cooked in an instant pot, so it's like it's just steamed. And I've got a couple of spoons of Mayflower curry over the top. I'm going to class that as being two sins because it's not a four sin portion. It might look like it's more bits because I've how tipped it over the top. And there's mainly vegetables and stuff underneath, so... Um, I'm counting that as two sins for dinner and I shall catch you later if you have anything else. You are pleased to know that the crunchy is still next to me. I haven't given in and had it and I don't think I'm going to now because I think this will fill me up for the, for the day. So I shall catch you later. Bye for now. Decided to have my Health HGB cob. This weighs 50 grams and I've got a little bit of lemon curd on it for two sins. So I've not been going to the mirror again so I just thought I better have my health extra B and I don't fancy anything else so I'm just going to have that instead of any other snacks tonight so that would be two sins for lemon curd but the health extra B so that'll be me done for the day I shall catch you again tomorrow for the next one bye